Introducing the Titleist TSI-2 and TSI-3 hybrids, both engineered for distance and forgiveness, but they are a little bit different in launch and spin, so we'll tell you which is right for your game. What's the quick takeaways from initial testing? It's hot. I yeah. was hitting it really far. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here in the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van with the Titleist TSI-2 and TSI-3 hybrids. Uh, new from Titleist here in 2021, Thomas, we've got both in our hands here. They do look a little bit different, of course, in terms of the club head shape, and I'm sure we'll see some differences on TrackMan uh, to help golfers identify which is right for their game. Yeah, the TSI-2 definitely is a little more rounded, a little larger profile, while the TSI-3 is a little bit more compact, iron-like looking to look down at, which is going to influence the launch and spin mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, so I'm excited to watch you hit some shots here, Thomas. We'll gather some feedback from, from Thomas, uh, talk about some of the tech involved as well, and. Uh, Ultimately, we're going to see the differences from TrackMan here. So, Thomas, you ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. All right, Thomas, the TSI 2 hybrid, uh, 3 hybrid uh, right there. So, uh, you got five shots in. Um, what's the quick takeaways from initial testing? It's hot. I was hitting it really far. And it, it's fun to hit a hybrid far, but the most important thing takeaway for me was not only was it hot, but the distance consistency was, consistency was really important to pay attention to. So mm -hmm. if you take a look at the dispersion pattern, you can kind of see from left to right how it was pretty similar with regards to distance. So that stood out to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can see, I've got the map up here, um, carrying the ball very similar distances across the board, even when you did maybe have a little bit more of a draw on it. Uh, it's did, it didn't kind of, you know, that spin didn't drop a ton and it didn't chase way out there. Uh, it, the carry distance was very reliable, so that's good to see from the TSI-2 hybrid. Um, what else, I mean, did you notice in terms of the look, I know it's a little bit larger, and I know you'll maybe get the TSI-3 to sort of compare the club heads, but um, just a little bit larger than maybe, I, I know you're used to kind of the utility iron, which is obviously more compact. Yeah, this is trending a little bit more to like a fairway kind of look. It's a little bit larger, a little bit more forgiving. Forgiveness is important, so that's why that dispersion pattern was nice and tight. Very, very interesting, clean look to look down at a dress. It's glossy, it's kind mm -hmm. of black, not much going on. It's just mm -hmm. a clean looking club to look at. And it's, I love a clean looking club to look at and that really kind of impressed me as well. Nice, well we can uh, transition to the TSI-3 hybrid here and then we'll have some numbers to compare. Sounds good. All right, Thomas. Um, you got now 10 shots on the board here, uh, five with TSI-2, five with TSI-3. We should note that we have both three hybrids in each model, right? But the lofts are different. So the three hybrid with the TSI-2 is 18 degrees, and then the three hybrid with the TSI-3 is 20 degrees. So there's a two degree difference in loft. Um, but you made a note right away that the club head shape is more compact, and uh, that will result in some lower spin. So, Kind of, you know, I mean, with the loft difference, might see it actually be kind of similar, right? Yeah, I, I was going to guess the spin rate would be fairly similar across the board because it does have two degrees more loft on it. Even though it's more of that profile that's designed for that ball to spin a little bit less, mm -hmm. I'm going to guess the spin's probably going to be pretty consistent because there's two degrees more loft. So yeah. I don't know what it was at. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it actually spun, what was that, 40? 40 RPMs less. Yeah, very few so, RPM yeah. difference uh, in the spin. And then actually what I'm noticing too is the height is very similar, uh, uh, the same actually. So, but interesting because like you said, TSI-3, it's more compact. It's got the iron-like profile, I guess, um, which should be designed for a lower height, lower ball flight. And then it actually has two more degrees of loft in this case for what we have to test today. So um, you're, I think you're seeing that the, the design of the low spin, low launch, it is, you know, you're seeing it on track band if you factor in the two degree difference in loft. Yeah, if you were gonna have them both at 18 degrees, then you would essentially, you would see a little bit less spin with the TSI-3. You would have a little bit less spin with the TSI-3 that'll be a little bit more obvious to see, mm -hmm. but it was there. And the other thing I wanna touch on too is dispersion a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention to the TSI-3, I had three shots, I mean, it's, it's only a small sample size, but you would notice how there was maybe that tendency there of maybe leaving it just a little bit more to the right, where the TSI-2 maybe promoted just a little bit more of a straighter or slightly more kind of draw shot there yeah. as well. Yeah, a little bit easier, it seems like, at least for you, uh, to maybe 
create a draw with the TSI two than the TSI three, um, and then what was know. the what were the club speed and ball speed numbers with each one? Because the other interesting thing now we are hitting with the stock golf shaft that's recommended for them, but the other interesting thing is if I look at the the length. I'm seeing that the TSI-2 golf shaft is a little bit longer than the TSI-3 golf shaft as well. Okay. So there was a one mile an hour difference in club speed, right? TSI-2 a little bit faster for you. Yep. Probably due to the tiny difference in the length, stock length. So uh, the TSI-3 is at the hazardous smoke RDX and yep. then the uh, Tensai uh, AV Blue Raw in the TSI-2. So a little bit different there, but yep. um, and then we should also touch on all the adjustability. So you know, a sure-fit housel for one, but then also at the TSI-3, you've got the uh, center of gravity adjustments on the sole there where you can move that weight around in the toe, neutral, or heel setting in the TSI-3. So you get all the control kind of, I mean, it's the ultimate control, right, the TSI-3, and then TSI-2 is kind of the ultimate, like, forgiveness and, and distance kind of combination there as well. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about distance. The uh, TSI-2, it was, it was hot. I mean... Don't always like to focus on smash factor too much, but we've got to talk about it. Yeah. That smash factor was consistently over 1.5. Mm -hmm. One thing to keep in mind is radars, they always pick up club speed differently. So whether that's Foresight or whether that's Trackman, more important to focus on ball speed. So mm -hmm. ball speed, all we're saying here with that smash factor being very, very high, is it is hot, but pay attention to ball speed. Ball speed's where it's at, and we do notice that the ball speed was quite faster with the TSI-2 versus the TSI-3. Mm -hmm. That's the loft, but it is powerful. Yeah. I mean, I was hitting this thing pretty far. Yeah, I, I mean, mean th these are carry distances with a three hybrid. Right, and I mean, yeah, you're carrying them, you know, 250 plus pretty consistently here. Uh, and then one thing to note, I mean, I know your ball speed with driver, it's mostly been in the 160s probably, and then you're in the 150s with hybrids, so. The, yeah. Titleist TSI hybrids, they, they pack a punch for sure. Um, I mean, great stuff here. And again, the, play, the now after hitting the shots, right, we should kind of identify player profiles for each one. And of course, it's player dependent, but yep. TSI 2 versus TSI 3, Thomas, type of golfer that would f kind of fit into each one. Yeah, so TSI 3, starting with that, this would be for your players that maybe don't like to hit the ball as far left, uh, like to see that anti-left golf shot, maybe. You know, we're seeing the same height, but keep in mind there was two degrees more loft yeah. on it. Probably a little bit lower height and mm -hmm. also a little bit lower spin. But those mm -hmm. players that probably like the profile more of oh. an iron or a driving iron better. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the TSI 2. This thing just, it really does pack a punch. I was, I'm quite impressed with those ball speed numbers across the, across the board. Uh, this will fit a player that needs a little bit more forgiveness, help get the ball a little bit up in the air. Off center hits are gonna be rewarded a little bit better as opposed to the TSI-3. Mm -hmm. Not saying the TSI-3 is not going to be forgiving, yeah, right. but this is just going to be a little bit more forgiving with it being in a larger profile. Those players that maybe like Fury would look better. Sure, sure. Well, there you have it, golfers. You got the whole, full breakdown from Thomas and also, of course, the data showing uh, you know, the evidence of, as well of what he's telling you about the TSI-2, TSI-3 hybrids. Come into second suite and get fit like a pro for either one, whether in our stores or with a member of our online fitting and support team. Uh, one of our experts will get you set up for a new hybrid. So Thomas, thank you for giving us all the information today.